Hi there, and let's get to it. Uh, first of all, I thought it would be worth it to describe the offline online workflow before proceeding with this video. So you capture footage onto your camera. This is the raw materials for your film. This will be the highest quality it can possibly achieve. Now, usually there's already one step of compression occurring in camera as you're capturing the footage. This is when all of your visual data is being converted to ones and zeros and then being written into a certain bitrate or codec as indicated by you inside the camera settings. With raw footage, this compression does not occur, which is why you usually end up with massive file sizes for every clip, no matter how short. Other times, compression occurs when you apply visual effects to your footage, and then when your clips are worked on and then rendered out. So the bottom line is that we want to hang on to the original footage for as long as possible. But this can be quite inconvenient because on high-end cameras, this footage can require a lot of processing power. So a solution that's been devised that allows us to hang on to the quality of our clips while at the same time allowing for quicker editing workflows is to make copies of your footage at a lower quality, so using compression, work on those clips, and then simply relink the edit to the original footage when you're finished. That way, the editing process itself will be very light and quick, but the final film will still use the original footage that you captured. I'm going to import some clips into my project. I've got two types of clips, 1920 by 1080 HD clips, and I've also got a series of 4K clips. So these are really good candidates for optimized media workflow. Two ways to create optimized media is manually. So I could right click on the clip and select generate optimized media. I can click and drag across multiple clips, right click and also generate optimized media. Now in a project that uses hundreds of clips, all with various resolution sizes, I might find it difficult to select all the individual clips that have 4K footage. In this case, it might be better to generate a smart bin. I'll be covering smart bins in a future video, but I'll generate one uh, right now real quick. So add smart bin. DaVinci Resolve has very helpfully filtered out anything that was not 4K. And now I can simply click and drag across all my clips, right click and generate optimized media. When I click this button, my optimized media will be generated as a series of new video clips at a lower resolution. That means that I have to make sure that wherever I'm sending these clips has enough storage. Generally, this will be sent to the same directory as my cache files, which is the first directory specified inside of your preferences. I'm going to generate optimized media for just a handful of these clips. And we're done. To indicate what you want your optimized media settings to be, you'll need to go into your project settings, into the general options, and look inside the optimized media section. Choose automatically means your media will only be reduced if it's larger than your current timeline settings. So in my case, the timeline was 1920 by 1080 and my footage was 4K. But you could also very easily indicate a fraction of your original footage size. Now that that's done, how do I know which of these clips are optimized and which aren't? Well, what I could do is I can switch from thumbnail view to list mode, and I can right click to activate the optimized media column. When I scroll across, this column now tells me which of the clips do not have optimized media associated with them, and which do, and at what resolution. When I'm editing, I can very quickly switch between using my optimized media or using the original 4K raw materials by going into playback and selecting use optimized media if available. Once you're done with the editing stage and you know you're going to continue working with your original raw footage, then you may as well go into playback and delete all of your optimized media to clear your cache. Thank you very much, and until next time.